Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So today we will be showing a transport application developed by InfoSquare on the Vantic event driven platform. So we'll be putting ourselves in the shoes of a transport company. And as a transport company, we have several trucks and they need to deliver goods in the forms of pallets to our final customers. So our aim is to have a real-time view on the operations in order to be able to react in real-time. The, the main goals of the applications are the following. So we need to know where each truck is located in real-time at any time, right? We need to know whether these trucks are on time on their delivery schedule or not. We need to know where the goods so our pallets are located, whether they are in uh, warehouses or whether they are already in transit, so in our trucks, or whether they have been already delivered to our customer. So in summary, the company needs to have a real-time view on operations in order to ensure that it performs well. And it needs this view also to be able to react and adapt in real time. And we will see that the Vantic platforms enable us to deliver this real-time view to the customer. But most importantly, uh, we will see that it enables the collaboration between all uh, the actors of the chain in real-time. As an example, we will see how our drivers will interact with the system uh, as soon as they are uh, loading or delivering a given pallet to the, to the customer. Uh, we will also see how we will be able to inform in real time our final customer in case we have a delay in the delivery. Okay, and also estimate and communicate that delay in real time to our customer. So the most important page in the application is this overview page where we are displaying information about trucks, pallets, warehouses and waypoints. So I will filter out for the moment most of those so that we can really focus on, on each. So the first information that we are gathering is the location of each truck. So each truck is equipped with a GPS sensor and this GPS sensor sends constantly in real time uh, the location of each single truck. So you see here that we have three different trucks uh, that are associated with three different GPS sensors. So 103, 104 and 105. So constantly those GPS sensors are sending information to our platform and to our application. So this is why those information are constantly updated on the screen. The second information that we are displaying on the overview page is the information related to pallets. So all pallets are identified by IDs, by an ID, a category, a description, and then a location and a status. And the location and status are linked together. So there are three uh, different statuses that can be used for a given pallet, storage, transit, or delivered. Storage, and I will display warehouse information. Every time a pallet is stored at a warehouse, its status will be storage. If a pallet is currently on a truck, the status will be transit. So here we have a pallet that is currently handled that has been loaded to uh, track 105 as an example the third status is delivered so uh, a pallet as soon as it has been uh, delivered to the final customer will be uh, um, tagged as delivered and its location will be the actual customer okay so uh, keep in mind that this Pallet information is constantly updated and is real-time information. So 
as soon, and we will see that in the demonstration uh, just in a couple of minutes, as soon as pallets are loaded to a truck, their state from, from a warehouse, for example, to a truck, their location and status will change. Okay, And as soon as the driver will, de will deliver a given pallet, to a customer, to a final customer, it will be marked automatically here and updated, it will be marked as delivered. Okay, the last information that we are displaying on the overview page are waypoints. So waypoints are very important. They define the different points that a given truck must reach. So Routes are assigned to trucks, and those routes are made of waypoints. Okay, in in practical, those are sequential waypoints. Okay, so if I take, for example, my truck 105 here, and it should it has just left actually its starting uh, point, which is also a waypoint, you see that. It is defined, I mean, its route is defined of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven waypoints. So the route that it's currently um, uh, assigned with is composed of seven different waypoints. Okay. And each waypoint can be a warehouse, it can be a final customer, it can be anything. Okay. So it is just a location defined by latitude and longitude, that we are expecting the truck to reach at some point, okay? Uh, and each waypoint is defined by, yes, we already told that, a latitude, a longitude, uh, and also a, com a, a flag that says whether the truck has already reach, reached, uh, sorry, the, the, the location, okay? So every time a given waypoint is reached by uh, my truck, it will be tagged as true, completed true, okay? Now we have two additional informations that define, that are real-time information, right? Which are the PTA, the planned time of arrival, and the ETA, the estimated time of arrival. The PTA, the planned time of arrival, is what we committed to our uh, final customer or to our warehouse, okay? This is the time that we should, I mean, contractually or not, but we should uh, be reaching a given waypoint, okay? So we told our customer that we will reach, that we will deliver on this particular plan time of arrival, okay? Now, the estimated time of arrival is constantly updated. So this PTA will not change, will not change, sorry, but the ETA will constantly change, depending on the traffic jams, depending on the, the, the conditions, uh, the driving conditions, it will be updated constantly. Here, it is, um, um, I mean, the unit is seconds, right? But it may be displayed as also a time of arrival and not seconds, right? Uh, anyways, this estimated time of arrival, which is constantly updated, is updated according to the Google API, right? So we are able with the Vantic platform, we're able to integrate with the Google API or any other traffic information or conditions, etc., to estimate constantly and dynamically the arrival time and compare that, of course, that's the aim, to the plan time of arrival, of course. So in case we find that we will be late or maybe in case we find that we will be too early also at some location, we may also act or react based on that information. So we've seen how this overview page uh, is displaying uh, live information about our trucks, about our pallets and the waypoints, right? Uh, I will now switch to the dashboard 
page and on this dashboard page what you will see is that we track constantly dynamically um, the ETA and PTAs and the status, the difference between the ETA and PTA uh, of all tracks. So we know using this dashboard, our customer has a view on whether a given track is actually late or early. Okay. Uh, so you see here that, for example, track 103 is quite late, but still estimated to be early on uh, his last uh, waypoint. Okay, so using this dashboard, the customer has an integrated view on uh, the delivery time and the estimated time of arrival and planned time of, of arrival, sorry, as we explained it earlier. Now let's go back to our field view and let's go for some practical view of how my driver will declare the loading of a given pallet. So we will focus on track 104 that is currently in Nantes. And the driver of 104 uh, the track sorry 104 is located in my warehouse W002. Okay, and the driver has to load the pallet that ends this first pallet, right? That ends with 105, right? And that is currently stored in uh, this warehouse 002. In order to load, to declare the loading of this pallet into he, his truck, uh, the driver will use his smartphone okay so he will start his vantic application on his smartphone so i'm the driver of track 104 and in order to confirm that i've loaded uh, the pallet that ends with 105 i will have to just open the vantic application go to the second tab that is a collaboration one select the palette load confirmation i will be asked to select my truck and then i will be asked to scan using my smartphone scan the barcode that is on the palette itself then send the information i get the configuration that the information was sent my transaction is done as simple as that now back to our overview, what we see is that the truck now has loaded uh, the pallet that it needed to, uh, to load, and it is now going to its further location, to its next waypoint, okay? The important thing to notice is that here, our pallet, the 105, has automatically been tagged as in transit and loaded on track 104. Okay, so our truck is on its way to its next waypoint. We see that on the map, right? Uh, and this next waypoint is a final customer and uh, the driver will have to uh, deliver the very same palette that was loaded uh, just at the at the at the warehouse 002. Okay, now we see that the truck has reached uh, the uh, customer location, and now my uh, truck will use the very same application, the smartphone application, to declare the delivery of the palette. Okay, so very same process here. I open my Vantic application on my smartphone. I select the second time and I will have uh, a pallet delivery confirmation available there. Okay, and very same easy process. I will just have to scan. Here it is. Scan the barcode on the pallet itself, send the information and automatically the status is sent to the platform and if we go back to our overview page we can see that yes 
the pilots 105 has been delivered to my customer NAT05 and it is it has a correct status of delivered and of course the truck can now continue its route and deliver other pallets because I mean we can check that yeah it, it had loaded other uh, pallets before so it is now going to its next waypoint that is quite far <laughs> from from where it is now anyways uh, just some comment about how this NAT05 customer was uh, input there. Uh, there is an automated process that locates the track and when a, 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 a pallet is delivered to a given location, automatically the system identifies where that location is and if it's a final customer it will automatically tag it with the name of the customer that corresponds to the waypoint and we are now back to our um, dashboard uh, and i'm selecting the track one or three uh, what i would like to you to see is also an example of a notification that is sent to the final customer when uh, the track is late so our track here 103 is really late okay um, and we will see just right now what is the type of notification that the final customer can receive so here the system has calculated that the track will be late for a given final customer this customer gets a notification directly on his smartphone um, here the message is quite precise so it says that okay there is a delay of 34 minutes uh, on delivery x4566 when the uh, customer clicks on the notification itself he has access to some additional information uh, on the on the track so the license plate also the photo of the track itself and if he clicks on the link below he has also access to the current location uh, of the track so the real-time location on the track and his own location so an interactive map enables the customer to have a constant view i mean a view on the real-time location of the track versus his current or her current location okay so this is the end of the demo uh, thanks a lot for your attention and see you next time for a new demo bye